Okay, so this is just uh, part three of the video recording uh, for my grade 12s. So I was looking back yesterday or this morning, looking at this, the, the two videos where we made camera one uh, and shot camera two. So what I noticed is camera one and camera two basically start around the same time. So that really doesn't make any sense to me, right? So let's say my first camera is right here. It's like an establishing shot says this is it. Well, zero to 72, right? If I come back down here at camera two and I select it, look, it starts at zero to 48. It's a two second animation, which is a sweet one. It's nice and slow, right? Right here, look, like that. So what's happening is I'm gonna get confused if I come back the next day and I don't know where this second one starts at. They shouldn't both start at zero, right, technically. So first thing I did is I extended my timeline. Okay, I added a number here, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select both these keys by just doing a marquee select, okay? So again, if you don't see it, you have to scroll in here, up and down here on the over there until you see these two key points, diamonds, right? Okay, so I know that the first animation of the camera movement ends at 72. So I'll just pop this right here and I'll go to 73. But watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select these two keys, I'm gonna middle scroll over and it's not working. So I'll go left shot, yeah. So left key, until uh, left click and move both keys together. So watch what happens now. This is kind of cool. Now it starts at the right time. Bless you. See that? Okay, so now we don't start at zero anymore. Look, it doesn't go until 73. Now that is sweet, okay? The other thing I said to you guys earlier when I demoed this for you is like, you know what, camera two could be, you can, you can double click and name it to what it is. So now you can say the first one is an establishing shot, the second one is the steps, and so forth for yourself. So for me, camera two is good. I know it's from this frame to this frame. How sweet is that? So I'm hoping this is gonna work, right? I'm, I, I know how to do this in Maya, but in Blender, let's hope this camera renders at this point. I'm gonna test this out, I'll pause and I'll come back. Okay, I have a feeling that this isn't the right approach either. I think this app most possibly has a bookmark where you can go camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, and bookmarks. So I'm going to end the video here and try to figure out how to do bookmarks in Blender uh, so I can hop from one camera to another for an export as a video. Because looking at it here, if I just bring this up a bit, you'll see something here. Like, see here? Actually, no, you know what? Actually, if I go start at, oh, wait, wait, this could work. If I hit 73 here, right? Hang on a second. I think this might actually work. I don't have to bookmark it. Let's go to camera two for a sec. Camera two ends at uh, 120 something, right? Cool. I think we got it. And I think we got this. So at 121. So if I say, oh, that's sweet. So if I come in here and press 121, Yes, now it's going to render from frame to frame. Hey, guys, this is kind of cool. I discovered this. Take a look. <laughs> look here, quickly. This is in the recording anyway, right? I showed you the camera one, camera two, moving it in the timeline, right? Then I thought, I think there's another method where you can add bookmarks in this app. So the camera jumps from one to the other. And then I notice here frame range, right? See that? So frame range, I change it from 73 to 121. So now I have, so now when I render this, Blender isn't gonna start from zero because they didn't know where to start, right? Isn't that interesting? So if I come to camera one now, look here, it says what, camera one. So I'm on camera one, right? So I gotta change this one to zero to 72. Each time you do this, you have to change the end rate. Hopefully this works, okay? To me, I think this would be easy. Otherwise, you just have to burn it and, and, and fix it in, in uh, Premiere, right? So for me right now, since this is camera two, um, I'm gonna have to go in here and do and type in 73 and I think it was 121, okay? So I hope this works. I think it'll work for me because now I know, Blender knows exactly where to export, okay? Let's go with that because otherwise I'm gonna have to figure out bookmarks in Blender and I think that's gonna take me a while. But let's go, stop this recording, this should be okay. Okay, great news. This took me about 30 seconds to figure out without even looking up anybody's documentation on this. Okay, so I said to you guys, camera one is here, zero to 72, right? 
So, and the second one is there. Looking down here, if I select camera one, watch this. There's a thing called marker. So I guess this is what they mean by bookmarks, right? Check this out. I'm going to go into marker here. I'm going to say add marker, right? Thought there was an add marker. Did I not do this already? I think I did it already or somewhere here. So I'm going to go to camera one marker, add marker right there. Okay. Second thing, watch the options for marker. This is so easy peasy. I love it. Bind camera to marker. So that's it. So now, oh, this is so sweet. So if I go from zero and watch how this camera is going to jump to the second one, boom, goes to the second camera, goes to the first camera, second camera. Oh, that's sweet. Way to go, Blender. You guys are awesome. Yeah, so this, this took me less than 30 seconds to kind of check. I said, what options do I have? Add, add marker. So that was awesome. I don't know why I couldn't see it before. Right here, see? That's a, it's above duplicate marker, okay? So this is all you guys got to do. Uh, make every one of these different cameras you want. Add the marker and then bind the marker. Change the timeline, the beginning and end. So it, it'll be from here. It'll actually work. Outstanding blender. I love it. This is good stuff. Okay, see a Ballion out. This works.